We're going to make a Photoshop 3D layer mock-up of this Blender model. The camera view is what we will render and export to Photoshop. First, we need to isolate the product by turning off rendering of this backdrop. I'm switching the camera viewport to wireframe for clear selection of objects. This product label needs to be hidden since we will render only the surface. The render workspace is where we can view our renders. Find the Material tab at the right panel. Under Surfaces, an image of the label is linked as base color. Let's examine its dimension by unpacking the item. Then we can access the file where it is saved. Take note of its dimensions. The dimensions will be applied to the new blank image. Fill it with grey background colour having a value of 0 0.5. Next we select and hide the backdrop. Let's render the isolated product item. To have the transparent background, set the render view to view layer. Then save the render layer image as a transparent PNG. Open the PNG in Photoshop and set the layer name. Save as PSD. Let's export the product item from Blender and bring it over to Photoshop. Select the product object. Make sure only the selected object will be exported. Include also the materials. Now, to import it into Photoshop, we need to match it in scale and position with the render image.
Use the Properties panel to nudge position and scale values by typing in numbers or using the up and down arrow keys. Photoshop has a light set on the 3D object. Let's turn it off. Examining the 3D texture size, it might be square in dimension. If we load a sample product label image, the same one that Blender has used on the 3D object. Which is rectangular in aspect ratio. We would have to stretch to fit it on the texture layer space. This duplicate layer is not actually needed. Let's turn the render image into a smart layer in case we need to duplicate it later and must save storage space. Apply a soft light blending mode to the render image. Separate the 3D layer into its own group. So any adjustment layers inside will take effect only to the group. Like this curve adjustment that will add depth. I am using curve presets that were saved to files. Apply an overlay blending mode to the group. Another curve to the top for overall contrast. Product is all set. Let's put in the shadow from Blender. Let's hide the product label again.
Select the backdrop and enable rendering it again. We need to set up the backdrop to render only the shadows of the product object, leaving itself transparent. This is made possible by enabling its shadow catcher visibility property. Enable Denoise under Render for Smooth Shadow Gradients. Enable Transparent under Film so our output background will be transparent. Select a transparent file output format such as PNG. We have to make sure Shadow Catcher is not rendered as a separate layer in Render Passes. Our shadow catcher is rendered as part of the combined view layer. Let's save this and bring it over to Photoshop. Having transparent shadows allows us to set background colors easily without having to do masking. We still need to mask out the product from our shadow layer, so it won't affect the layers with blending modes above it. We will render an alpha in a separate render slot. Let's turn off the backdrop again. Go to the Compositor Editor type to set up alpha rendering. Connect the alpha render layer to the Composite Image node. We will use this AFA image as our shadow catcher mask in Photoshop. We open it separately so it will be available as a mask option. Create a shadow catcher mask and apply the alpha document as the source.
Now we can adjust the shadow opacity without affecting layers above it. To make our mock-up look like a template that we can sell, we should replace the product label with a grid pattern. I will load my grid pattern as a layer. And just turn off visibility of the sample label design. Since the background color can show through the product blend modes, let's group it with the shadow layer. So they can share the product alpha mask. Changing the background color is so easy. Using Smart Layer Replace with our mock-up is easy too. To generate product images in different flavor labels, Just make sure we choose Resize to Fit and enable Stretch to Fit. The products featured in this tutorial is available at Amazon. See video description for links. Pixel Splasher Smart Layer Replace. Photoshop extension is available at Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app or Adobe Exchange website. So you can generate product mockups like this in seconds.